I'm here for the entertainment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've been here before, what have you done to change your life? So, uh, continuing with... Continuing with life and lifestyle, I think that one of the most important things that we need to learn how to do is make a drink. Uh, I see it on, like, TV shows, movies, when, like, guys come back to the house and they're just like... You ready for a drink? And we should be those men. Those men get laid. So in the spirit of becoming better people, becoming the streetwear gentleman, uh, I think that's what I have classified myself, just kind of like a streetwear gentleman. That's what I like. Anyways, we're gonna do some drink recipes, cause that's what I wanna do on my channel. This is also for my Patreon people. Uh, I love and appreciate you guys. The book club is fantastic, I love it here. Uh, I can't wait to do more stuff with you guys. But in honor of reaching out into a new demographic, the book club is kind of like attracting more women than men. I am a men's lifestyle vlogger. Um, but let's bring in a woman to help us with these drinks. So, can I get some of love? So I brought my friend Erin in and she's gonna come help us make drinks for our drink segment because I just think every Friday spending it with Aaron, it, I couldn't imagine anything better, so. Hi, I'm gonna put some applause right here. I swear, if you don't, I'm suing. <laughs> you know, that was such a touching introduction and I almost cried. Got the camera down. Erin, <laughs> I'm not like an internet person. Don't try to find me on the internet. <laughs> Not an internet personality, just a personality. Just a person. <laughs> and I would like you to respect my privacy. And, uh, so this is Erin, my friend. Uh, and we're gonna make some drinks for you today. Ooh, my favorite activity. The manliest activity. It's a man's vlog, right? We're gonna make some drinks for you today. <laughs> So the first drink we're making is something called a mint julep. I think that if, if you have a grandma and she likes to drink, she drinks a mint julep. And I just kind of think that grandmas are the way to a woman's heart. Who don't like grandma? I know my grandma. Right. She drinks tequila straight. <laughs> I don't think that knows how to make a drink. So a mint julep is actually super easy, super basic. So the first step in a mint julep is to express the essential oil. ASMR, so sexual. <laughs> A mint julep recipe like specifically calls for crushed ice. Like this isn't one of those drinks where you can just put those big cubes in there and just it wants you to do it just like this. Because they're difficult, I guess. Whatever. Kentucky Gentleman. How much does this cost? 
like thirteen dollars. <laughs> we love it. We love highs and lows. So after this, we're gonna add some mint, some ice, and the drink is done. I'm gonna add more ice. Let's yeah. see. Cheers! It's a little strong for me. If you like whiskey, wait. Straight. Yeah, if you love the taste of whiskey, which I know a lot of people who actually do, because it is like a very like acquired taste. So yeah. if you like it, you like it. <laughs> this whiskey is. It's a lot, and it costs a lot. <laughs> Worse. I didn't get. So my drink, I'm pretty sure it's called a Mexican 75, but I'm not actually sure. I'm not really good at research. But yeah, we're just gonna call it Aaron's drink for now. And it's plastic. It is. This is the glass for me. <gasps> fun, fun, fun. I don't know. I think it's a champagne. <laughs> I usually drink a gin and tonic, but this is like a gin and tonic with tequila. Um, I love tequila. I love the way tequila makes me feel, but I like drinking gin because it goes down smoother and it doesn't upset my stomach as much but this basically tastes like a gin and tonic i made it for my friend earlier and that's what he said so it has limes in it champagne tequila and i think that's it oh and we put a mint leaf in there too okay so we're gonna make that one Unfortunately, we did lose a little video here. It was the first half of this recipe. However, have no fear. Your voiceover is here. The Mexican 75 is actually super easy. It is one part tequila, three parts champagne. So it's just one shot of tequila and three shots of champagne. It's super easy. But let's go ahead and get back to the video now. So next we're gonna squeeze in some lime. I usually squeeze it in a cup first just so you know how much you're actually um squeezing in there because if you just take a lot and squeeze it in there it can turn out like really limey this way you can definitely do the proportions a little better <coughs> so yeah squeeze a lime into a cup preferably don't squeeze it in no. there lime is super strong The recipe called for ice. Um, so you can't put ice in it. <laughs> we can put some cubes in there. I don't know where you got that information. We're the ass Really? They kind of know what they're talking about, actually. Ooh, I like those ice cubes. Ooh, Ooh it bubbles. This is like a party drink. It's a party. I feel like this is a very like I respect you as a classy woman drink. <laughs> I respect you as a classy woman. Who also likes tequila? Cause I feel like people assume if you like tequila, you're not class. I just feel like you should never be judged on what alcohol you like. <laughs> that is my personal opinion. Cheers, classy woman. <laughs> Classy women who drink tequila. Classy women everywhere. Ooh, this is good. Okay, but actually, big ice cube aside, this is fantastic. Thank you. This is a good drink. And because we love gin and tonic, so I know you love this. If you, I don't know. It's just a little sweeter than I would want it. It is sweet. I mean, I guess it depends on the champagne you get. We got like a kind of like cheap champagne. Yeah, that was like five dollars. We ran up a bill on right. alcohol already today. So if you get like the champagne that's like super dry and not as sugary, um, it definitely would be like less sweet and would just add more of like a carbonated water kind of vibe. Could also just switch it out for carbonated water. I would like to see a tonic in here. You know, I just feel like alcohol and alcohol is the better move. No tonic around. <laughs> Go ahead and get drunk as quick as possible. No, get it how you live it, try, try. No this. water. None. Uh, I mean, definitely stay hydrated, but not while you're drinking this. <laughs> I also 
picked this because it's low carb. Low carb is the move for like a I did not think food. about that like at all with any other drinks that I picked. Because whiskey is like the most calories and carbs you can drink like. I was like, it's vegan. A lot of vegan stuff is like not that healthy for you. <laughs> The next drink we're gonna do is a raspberry gin ricky. So if I haven't already given you enough old people drinks, like I'm taking it back to the 1940s, we're doing a gin ricky. Sugar, you don't have any sugar out here. <laughs> you are correct. Raspberry, fresh lime juice, ice seltzer, more sugar. <laughs> more sugar? More raspberry? Oh, it starts over. <laughs> Oh, this is a whole thing. A medium pie over high heat. You need a pie. <laughs> this is a dedication drink. It says it's only two steps. Okay, so. Two steps too many. It says Anna. <laughs> I N A. Anna. Anna pie. Anna pie. Kind of same energy as this video. So there's no way you could order this at a bar. <laughs> you're not going to boil water for it. Right. Hmm. So if you brought someone home and you're going to make this drink, you have to pre-boil some water. What? Actually, can we do this a different way? Ooh. I don't think you can because you have to melt sugar. Well, that's just creating a simple syrup. Excuse me. Ooh. Muddled two raspberries at the bottom of a glass. Muddle just kind of means like, come here. Okay, I'm trying to muddle it. It says, see, it just made a simple syrup. Uh, some syrup. Oh, so bring this pot up the shop. <laughs> if you would like to be extra, there you go. Remember, bring a pot to a boil, half, cup, half a cup of water with some sugar in there, bring it to a boil, mix it around a little bit, let the sugar dissolve. Move it to the side for about 10, uh, 10 minutes. You have a simple syrup in order to make this uh, on the fly. Everyone should have sugar and water in a medium pot. If you don't, Get off my channel and go, go get a pot first. You are not where we need to be. Yeah, water and sugar are pretty basic, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're not cooking at all. All right, so lime juice. You want to cut the lime for me? Yeah. Ooh, you trusted me with a knife? Just give me some lime juice. Oh. Can't be me. Do you want to cut it in half? Now that we've got our lime juice all muddled in there, it is time to go ahead and put two tablespoons of our simple syrup. Now, I don't like things like crazy sweet, so I'm just going to put a little dabby dab of mine. You can put some extra in mine. Put some extra in Aries. Now we're going to fill each with a half a cup of ice. One, cup, one half a cup seltzer, so a full one. 11 grams of carbs. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, I love all these bubbly drinks. So, Makes me like excited to drink something when it's bubbly. Um. Ooh, cute. We've done a lot of drinking, so we get singles for this one. Oh, no fun. <laughs> Can I make, should I mix it or what do we, is it already mixed? It's just. I feel like the sugar's at the bottom. It's like this fancy thing. It's a spoon. It is a spoon. Wait, it looks like a straw. Wait, it is a straw. No way. I need one of these. It's a straw and a spoon. <laughs> Why am I so amazed? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, we like gin. Oh, yeah. I was like, why does this taste like familiar? <laughs> and then I was like, it's gin. Basically, gin and tonic with some raspberries and sugar in it. So this is like a gin and tonic if you're not being like a skinny lady. <laughs> Zero, like zero. five calories, maybe. Yeah. And this just adds a little sugar. Good to have sugar in your drinks. In your diet, every once in a while. Yeah. Sugar gives you hangovers, though, so like. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Damn, am I gonna be hungover tomorrow? Oof. If I'm hungover tomorrow. I'd let this drive through a house warming to go to tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, because Corona. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make sense. 
But I guess it does. It's a great time to have some. Isn't it good? Have you not had any? No. Yeah, you know what yeah. You took them out at like the right time. They're crispy. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's some time before we should be having house guests, before we should be making anybody drinks, before we can flex our drink making, bartending skills. However, I did want to give you guys some, you guys have some time to become a little bit more well versed with a couple more drink recipes. I, you saw in the video, Aaron even said like, if you have this stuff down pack, you know, this helps you look a little bit more put together. Just like knowing these drink recipes, having a small bar set at your house, um, having liquors that are just kind of like on tap for you. All of those things are part of being a little bit more put together. All of those things are about lifestyle and living the best life that you can. But um, I had so much fun making this video. I hope you guys actually take some of these drink recipes, make them for the people you know, make them for yourself. These are actually some really good recipes. Uh, uh, I am AJ Monroe. This has been fantastic. This has been cocktail hour. And you have a little bit more time to figure out what you were going to do better with your life. I will see you later.